Good morning, good morning. It's on. Let's see who turns up first. Okay, so I'm going to do a three card spread today um, just because it's Sunday and I'm feeling like maybe we need a little bit more today in terms of guidance for our energy. So come on, say hi and let me know if you can hear me okay. Hey Carolee, how are you doing, honey? Hi Emma, good to see you. Who else is here? Can you give me a thumbs up if you can hear me? It seems to be okay again. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Give me a thumbs up, guys. Awesome. All right. So, the three card spread from this pack um, is fairly similar. It's um, looking left to right, past, present and future. And um, the one in, on the left indicates the past influence that's bringing energy to present circumstances. Shush. The center card describes things as they are currently, both energetically and logistically. The card on the right reveals the potential outcome in the future. Okay, so um, it's less structured, it says, than in a similar nine card spread. Um, it could be, so the past card could be as recent as yesterday and the future card could be as soon as tomorrow. So it's not kind of massively spread out, um, but we're gonna, we're gonna go with the flow. So I have three jumpers again, because I always seem to. And the first one was hostilities reversed. <laughs> So is this hottie again? Um, so hostilities reversed. Again, we, I think we only had this yesterday. And it's a lovely card. And when it comes out reversed, it's talking about marking the end of hostilities, which again, we had this yesterday, but it's obviously very relevant. There's a shift in the energies around us and even about us. And the universe is supporting our own internal shift as well. Whether the aggressive action has ended due to external factors or your own intervention. Yeah, exactly, Emma. So it must mean something, right? Um, this card bodes well for more peace and harmony, which you got to love. Be aware, however, that there may still be some action that you have to take, and this is the bit we shouldn't forget, and it may seem on the surface that things are slow in getting better. Um, this card encourages you, letting you know that the inner vibrations are changing and the situation will be resolved. Strikes over. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is, because it's three very separate energies, we're going to clear each one. We're going to do the affirmations for each one. Okay. So the affirmations for this one are, um, I am receiving the peaceful, harmonious treatment I deserve in my life. I set boundaries, make reasonable requests and make my expectations clear. So this is going to be a bit of a longer session, probably about 15, 20 minutes. Shush. I've got some rich teas on the, on the stand here. And so guess who is wanting a biscuit? Idiot dog. Right. <laughs> hey, Jackie, We're doing a three card spread today, hon. So the first one again was hostilities reversed, which means it's an end to hostilities, okay? So let's do a triple warmer smoothie to get us all in the mood and then we'll carry on from there. So three fingers over your eyes, pull them out to your temples, drop them down, round the back of your ears, onto your shoulders, dig those fingers in, oh. pull them forward, cross them over, good to see you. Okay. Shut up. Stop it now. I am receiving the peaceful, harmonious treatment. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Sorry. I am receiving the peaceful, harmonious treatment I deserve in my life. Let's start again because he's whinging. I set boundaries. Make reasonable requests. Oh, thanks for sharing, Kate. That's lovely. And make my expectations clear. I'm receiving the peaceful, harmonious treatment I deserve in my life. And when you're saying these affirmations, really lean into the feeling. Really try and match what we're saying to the vibe that you've got inside you. Find that place inside you where you can physically feel this, where it feels good. Usually it's in the pit of my stomach. I set boundaries. Do you feel good about setting boundaries? If there's any, if there's any um, resistance to setting boundaries, then feel that feeling and let it go when you're tapping on it. And it's all just about tuning into your body. Make reasonable requests. I've got to do it one-handed. <coughs> Excuse me, because I've got one hand on the dog to keep him quiet. I make my expectations clear. OK. 
Okay, let's do another round. I am receiving the peaceful, harmonious treatment I deserve in my life. Oh, thanks for sharing, Carolee. Shh. I set boundaries. Make reasonable requests. and to make my expectations clear. Okay. I am receiving the peaceful, harmonious treatment I deserve in my life. Can you feel that? Just relax into the feeling. Let it come through wherever it comes up if you can still see me. I set boundaries. Make reasonable requests. Thank you, and make my expectations clear. And so it is. Wonderful. Oh, thank you, Margaret, that's lovely, thank you. So that's the first one, okay. The second card we had was Daughter Spirit. And this is, this is pertaining to the present, okay, but it came out upside down. Okay, so Daughter Spirit reversed is um, when this card is, so it's to do with spiritual awakenings and new beginnings. And it says, when this card is an extreme disconnect. Yeah, it did, didn't it, Carolee? I'm glad. Um, oh, no worries, Kay. You haven't missed a lot. That was I'm doing a three-card spread. That was the first one, which was hostilities reversed again, like yesterday. And you've only just got onto the second card, so that's fine. It was daughter spirit reversed. It says, when it's reversed, you may find yourself feeling an extreme disconnect. That was the dog burping. Sorry. That's life. It seems your intuition is failing and you can't maintain the peaceful moments you are longing for. You may be too distracted by worldly matters or personal problems to arrive at and enjoy the deeper sense of your spiritual connection. The paradox is that the more you can let go of the drama, distractions or intense emotions, the more your spiritual peace will bring you solutions for these issues. So relax and let go. Meditate on your soul self your higher self that resides in your own heart center. Allow that connection to grow and you'll find that many new doors will open as a result, which is pretty cool, hey? <laughs> no, he's not being ignored, Margaret. Well, I've got one hand on him, one hand on the book, so he's being a pest is what he's being because I've got rich tea biscuits. So the affirmation for this one is really lovely. It's, I relax and connect with my spirit's wisdom and power and I know that the world of spirit supports me, okay? I relax and connect with my spirit's wisdom and power. I open those doors, baby. I live in the peace that my spirit brings. Hey, Alison, good to see you. We're only on card two, so you're just in time. And know that the world of spirit supports me. Shh. He's whining for rich teas. I relax and connect with my spirit's wisdom and power. I live in the peace that my spirit brings and know that the world of spirit supports me. Oh, full of sneezing today. I relax and connect with my spirit's wisdom and power. I live in the peace that my spirit brings and we'll finish on the third eye. And so it is. Okay, that's card two of three. And the last one. You can see me, still see me, okay. Um, I didn't actually switch um, all tingly. Oh, awesome, Sonia. That's very cool. So, I'm holding a coin. She's pretty. Will you be quiet? Shush. And it came out upright, okay? So this one is number 42, so let's have a look. Okay, so this card is, again, about female connection in money, health, or value. Boss, you're driving me crackers, just go away. Honestly, biscuits, I know. We do get her a few times, and I think, you know, we've got a few, th the theme at the minute seems to be, it's time, you know? It's time to go forward, um, and, uh, things are lining up and behind you and this is probably you know something that's going to influence you so it says holding a bright gold coin 
When the card comes up right in a woman's reading, it may refer to her directly, so us, you know, ourselves, and to a successful endeavour regarding her own finances or health. This card also could also signal a woman of support or assistance regarding these issues. This card could also signal, um, oh sorry, she may give you financial advice or connect you with someone who does. This woman may be someone you meet where you make money, where you make your money, or it may be a woman, no, or it may be a woman of health, wealth and value. Either way, this card is telling you to be on the lookout for helpful assistance or even the possibility of new love or friendship connected to a woman of wealth or business, okay? You need to be quiet. God almighty. The affirmation is, the world supports me in my financial goals. I am making synchronistic connections that serve and honor me, okay? I have to eat, I had six. I have one left and I haven't had any because I timed it wrong um, and he knows where they are, so. Um, he's just whined at me until I've given him on. I shouldn't really, but there you go. He's a pest. Um, okay, so the world supports me in my financial goals. I am making synchronistic connections that serve and honour me. You hear him in the background. This guys. I'm making synchronistic connections that serve and honour me. The world supports me in my financial goals. Oh, here we go with the itchy nose. Oh. Honour me. The world supports me in my financial goals. I am making synchronistic connections that serve and honour me. And so it is. Yay, Linda. <laughs> and to you. And to you. <sighs> okay, so that was the three cards. So how did that feel this morning, guys? Did you enjoy um, I tried to obviously think about what would be the best for us, and I thought, if we do a three-card pull, then it's a bit of past, present, and future. And then, yeah, it's nice, isn't it, Alison? And then we can, you know, we can work on releasing. We we'll do that at a weekend going forward, because it gives us a little bit more time together. Um, it gives you a little bit more guidance on what's going on, um, and a little bit more tapping practice, which is never a bad thing. So I hope that was good for everybody. I hope you got something out of it. Um, Margaret says, I will redo affirmations my Wi-Fi. It's not yours, honey, mine keeps going in and out. I chose the wrong extender um, and it's very weak. So, excuse me, apologies for uh, the poor signal, for the dog whining in the background and all the rest of it. So needed that big stuff yesterday, feeling a bit depleted. Oh, honey, well, I hope you feel better, you know, and if you, if you still feel like you've got stuff to release or there's stuff coming up, then go through a few rounds of just relaxing, releasing, relaxing, releasing. In fact, let's do it. Relaxing, releasing. Relaxing, releasing. It is life, Alison. Yes, it is my life every day. Relaxing, releasing. This is just letting go of anything else that's bothering you. Hey, Karen. Relaxing, releasing. Relaxing, releasing. You can focus on any physical tight tightness or sensation you've got here, any emotional pain, anything that's bugging you, niggling you. Relaxing, releasing. You don't even have to name it to claim it. Just focus on the feeling. Relaxing, releasing. It's good to see you, Karen. Hope you had a good holiday. Relaxing, releasing. Relaxing, releasing. Very peaceful start to a Sunday morning, huh? So I didn't get any rich teas in the end because my big fat dog ate them all. So hey ho, that's life. I hope that helped you. Um, if you do need to carry on, you know, releasing stuff, then that works. It works lovely. Just you know, do as we've learned. Focus on the feeling in your body, the physical sensation, and think about what it is you want to let go. You know. Oh, awesome, Emma. It's so powerful that as long as you kind of feel the feelings, it will still it will still go. All right. And Alison's got all shivery. Linda says so much better. That's awesome, guys. I'm really good work because it's um 
it is it's very handy relaxing releasing is fabulous i did that i thought that one was just for you margaret sorry very itchy nose have a lovely rest of your sunday guys i really appreciate your support as always thank you for liking and commenting and sharing um and if you feel like tagging a friend then please do so um have a lovely rest of your